everybody, welcome to the channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Trent and I appreciate you coming to watch this video. If you have been here before, well I appreciate you coming back. Today we're gonna check out the Exoskeletal Broadhead by B3 Archery. This is a three blade, one and a half inch cutting diameter, 100 grain mechanical broadhead. It's a really cool three blade. It has a unique blade retention system that uses friction on the ferrule. It's different than anything else that's out there on the market. It's, it's what I think is a great system. I'll go ahead and show you a close up of this guy. That's them in the closed position, this is them in the open position, and they have really cool curved blades. Now, I don't know if that affects performance at all, I don't know if it's gonna make it perform better or worse, but it looks cool nonetheless. So, if you've never been here before, the way we test broadheads is generally we do an accuracy test, except for mechanicals. I don't accuracy test mechanicals because as long as it's a quality mechanical and your bow is relatively in tune, it should shoot right with your field points. That was the whole point of a mechanical anyways, is to shoot right with your field points. So I'm not going to do any accuracy testing on these guys. I'm going to assume that they are going to hit right with my field points. What I am going to do, however, is a sharpness test. And I'll do it right out of the package sharpness test. And then I'll also do a sharpness test after we're done doing all the other testing. And the reason why is I want to see what kind of edge retention this broadhead has. Edge retention is super important. I'm also going to shoot this through ballistics gel, and I'm doing that because I want to see what kind of wound channel this broadhead can produce. This isn't a penetration test. That ballistics gel is way more dense than an animal is going to be, so penetration is not going to be accurate versus an animal. However, I do want to see that wound channel, and ballistics gel helps me do that. And the last thing I'm going to do is durability testing. Now I'm doing durability testing in a half inch thick wooden fence slat. I have a bunch laying around. It's a semi-consistent medium, comparatively. and. Uh, it's a little bit more intense than what it's going to be shooting through an animal, so I figure if a broadhead can make it through that unscathed, it should be able to make it through an animal. Let's hop into that sharpness testing. Just gonna test one blade. I gotta make sure I'm not hitting anywhere else on the scale when I do this. Two twenty-five. Alrighty, there it is. Now you can see on the entry side it took a second for that broadhead to open up. That's common with over-the-top mechanicals. Once it did open up, however, you can see there's a really good wound channel there. You can also see that the wound channel rotates to the left, which is to be expected with those blades. Overall, awesome. Guys, I kind of messed up. I forgot to hit the record button on the shot. Sorry. The entry is right there. It's just a hole about the size of the broadhead. On the back side, you can see right there, there's one right there, and I believe there's one up here also. The broadhead started to open up some, or it started to open up, so, and the broadhead looks like it's in good shape. The blades don't have any major nicks in it or anything like that, so I'd say it held up pretty well. Alrighty, let's see how well it retained the edge after all the testing. Anything equal to or under what it had before is going to be perfect, and under is possible. 425. Yikes. Final thoughts on the exoskeletal broadhead? Well, I like that it's made in America. I like that it comes with a practice point so you're not tearing up broadheads while you're practicing. I like the wound channel on it. It's an over-the-top mech, so it not opening right away is to be expected, but once it opened, it's a full inch and a half, and it's got a rotational wound channel, and that rotational wound channel makes it really hard to close back up, so I like seeing that. That's really where it ends for me, though. Out of package sharpness left some to be desired. It scored a 225, and I expect a 150. And then once I retested after the test, after all the other things that I had done, it tested a 425. And I expect some dullness, but I was really hoping to see better edge retention than that. I've also got this problem now where this blade doesn't stay up. And what happened was the screw here has now come loose, which makes me really nervous. What if I shoot this in the game and the screw comes loose and now I'm down to two blades? You're taking away a third of the lethality of this thing. I don't really care for that. Now it does come with an extra blade and screw, but that doesn't help me in the woods when I'm hunting. So that's, that makes me real, real skittish of this particular broadhead. And one thing to keep in mind is all this testing is as it's, it's authentic. I'm telling you things exactly how it happens, but this isn't comparable to shooting an animal in the woods. So if you have experience shooting an animal in the woods with this broadhead, I'd love to hear it. Maybe your, your results aren't anything like mine. Maybe they're worse than mine. I mean, I wanna hear all of those things. Broadheads are super interesting to me and I love having those conversations with people. 
Guys, if you watch my videos and you enjoy them, I appreciate it if you'd share it with your friends, like it, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. All of those things really help me grow this channel and help me chase my dream. And it's because of you guys I'm able to do that. So any help you give me is appreciated more than words can say. I think that's everything. I don't have nothing else to add. I'll catch you guys on the next one.